Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2 where John Coleman and I, my business partner John Coleman and I, uh, are going to do one of our amazing weekly vlogs. Hi, John. Oh, uh, Art, good to see you again, even by Skype. We got to get together for lunch, though. Uh, yeah, that's there's only like 50, 60 miles between us. Yeah, it's a long yeah. way. It's a long yeah, drive. You know, the uh, Calypso Cafe is one of our favorites. Um, bit back open. I go, well, let's go down there one day. We like that place. Yeah, we do. Uh, 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 what's the lady's name who wants it? Uh, oh, great. Uh, I got you. Yeah. I don't remember it either. You don't remember it either. Okay. But she always remembers us. She does remember us because I'm a, a, a decent tipper. And you're and you're a caper. She likes your caper. You always have capers. I'm a guy in. who wants capers and everything. By, right. by the way, not speaking of capers, but um, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be out on the South Forty or something like that, uh, attending to your crops? I have, as you know, I'm I'm a big fan of gardening as an analogy for life. As an analogy for life, I thought you were gardening so that you could bring me those amazing tomatoes and avocados. That's secondary. The oh, first, okay. the first reason we do gardening is so we can talk oh, about it. Okay. We, all right. As opposed to, what do you do? Well, I sit around on the porch all day. You know, I'm retired. <laughs> anyway. So here's, here's the analogy uh, from the garden this oh. week. It's the middle of July. And uh, those of us who are gardeners have been reaping what we've sown. Oh, so my, we've got oh, my, tomatoes, oh, I got lettuce, I got green peppers, uh, we got some melons that are pretty close to being ripe. What kind of melons? Uh, busk melons. Really? Yeah. So they'll be nice. They're little little guys, but they're good. And um, the corn didn't do very well. I got like one ear of corn, you know. So, but here it is, the height of the season. July, one of the hottest months for most people. And you would think that all of this is kind of, that's it, right? But, but no. See, it's kind of hot out there. But no, there's a second season. Did you know that? I did not know that. There's a, you can, so I just planted... Wait, 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 wait. Is that anything like a second act? Is that like act it two? Could of be. Your, act two of your, of your, your act two. So this is my garden's act two. Great. And we all know that act two is this better half of life. Really? Uh, yeah. So I've got uh, a pumpkins going in. going to plant more corn, which will uh, ripen and September, October, you know, fall corn will be terrific. Um, we've got some zucchini in, which mm -hmm. will be great. Uh, the cucumbers are pretty much done, but you know what? I'm going to plant more cucumbers. I'm going to have a second crop of cucumbers. What about one of my favorite from your garden is uh, 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 cauliflower? Cauliflower has to go in. That's a cool weather crop, so that'll oh. go in later. I'll plant that in August. Because I, I, you I know, I go to the supermarket. The they have it. I go to the supermarket. Market. They have it year round, so they must be planting year round at the supermarket. Yeah, well, that's not us. I mean, oh. we've got a long growing season in Southern California. Not, mm -hmm. it's not quite year round, but there are there. You know, the the citrus all comes due in January and February. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have, in a sense, we have a, a year round growing season. So wait, so you plant now, because you've got to think ahead a couple of months. Right. So if you don't plant now, then you miss the season? Is that the trick? I'll miss the fall season, sure. Mm. And eventually I'll put in broccoli, cauliflower, um, Brussels sprouts, things like that will that'll do well in what we call cooler weather. You but know? don't you need to, to uh, do an extraordinary amount of watering because of the oh, heat? Oh, yeah. Got to have water. We've got our own well. Really? Well, well, well. Yeah. Wow. Well, 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 well. So here's the lesson for all of our viewers, for our Act Two alumni. Um, and the lesson is, from the garden this week, there's always something you can plant. 
All right. It may look like the height of the season. The cucumbers are dying, but no, you can plant more stuff. So never give up. Always do another planting. You might have to pick and choose exactly what you're going to plant, right? Well, pumpkins mm. will not ripen until October, November, but there's another planting. And the other thing is plan ahead. Plan ahead three months, six months. Don't give up in your second act. Plan ahead. What are you going to do? Art, what are you going to do six months from now? I'm going to be talking about your next season and how good the crop was that you planted on this season. That's for sure. You're going to be asking me about more avocados. Uh, I am. As far, actually, I'm not a huge avocado fan, as you know, but my wife is. And she yes. just loved them. And she says, you know what? Why do you and John only have to have lunch once a month? Can't he bring crops up like twice a month? I so, wish I could. Yeah. yeah. I wish uh, we had them. They, they, you know, no, only it's, have a of it's really great because I remember when you first moved into this place and there was just like a hard scrabble, it seems to me, backyard next yes. to the, the chicken coops yeah. and, and the, uh, the, the, the stables and things like that. Waste highway you, weeds. Yeah. And you, you, you have really leveled that place. Like, uh, you know, it's like a little house on the prairie. And you've, <laughs> you, the only thing, the only thing is that you can't seem to get the Kansas factor in there because the corn, I don't think ever really quite made it, did it? Well, all I can say is I wish I had Michael Landon's hair. <laughs> well, but, and he wishes that he had your life. Yeah. He wishes that you had your second life. So I'll tell you, no hair. And uh, the second act. So, so basically, you're always planning ahead for the next crop. Because I know you experiment also with, with different kinds of seeds from time to time uh, to yeah. see maybe if you get that magic out of it uh, that'll really get you a nice crop. Well, you know, it's just like life. You got to plan ahead. You got to plant the seeds. Otherwise, there's nothing. Grows. There's nothing to to reap because you didn't sow it, right? Is that something like that? That's right. So even if you're 70 years old and you're in your second act, your act two, pardon me, mm -hmm. um, you got to plant something. Okay. Well, I think that's great advice and uh, uh, something that we should uh, all take uh, to heart with whatever we're doing. As you know, I have a 25 year rolling plan. So that's... Yep. You are planning ahead. There's no I doubt about that. Planning ahead. In fact, I just uh, just to let you know about gardening and things like that. I spoke to my sister earlier today, and I said, you know, I'm really learning how to be polite to you and not bugging you every time we speak about because she's in charge of planning my hundredth birthday party. Right. But I, I said I've stopped bugging you because I know that you're working on it. We still got some time to go, but she said, yeah, it's going to be a spectacular. Yeah. You, you haven't started on the invitations yet, though, have you? Uh, it's not my job. It's a surprise party for me. Oh, well, good for you. Good for you. Well, thank you, John. Uh, uh, I do appreciate it. And, and your, your words are uh, uh, quite uh, uh, important for all of our audience, so me and everybody else. Is that, I, I, prefer you... art, I prefer the word profound. Oh. Thank you. Well, you are profound. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for that. Uh, you know, and Plato. That's why we never interview Plato or Aristotle. Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. That's the because we had you, and how much profound can you do? That's right. You can only take so much of this crap. Yeah. So, as a matter of fact, I think our audience has now taken about a three minutes more of this yeah. than they really deserve. So <laughs> we're going to let you all go now, but uh, we're going to let you go only to do some planning. And we want, to right. hear from, we want to hear from you next time what you've planned and the wonderful things that have happened because you did. Okay. Well, I have to go out to the roadside stand now and stand out there and sell lemonade or something. I don't know. Good. Anyway. Save, folks, the, avo save the avocados for me, though. For thank week. you for watching, everybody. And remember, plan ahead. Even in the middle of your second act, plan ahead. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, 
and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.